What's going on, Warriors? We're here. We're back again. I'm talking about... Boom! Shigeki no Kyojin. Attack on Titans. Whatever you want to call it. The live-action movie. I watched the movie. It was... It was, it was alright. I mean, it wasn't shit. But it wasn't good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to talk about it. And express exactly how I feel about it. So I'm just going to go in. And you guys can come to a conclusion with me because I just finished watching like less than two hours ago so what I didn't like about the film what I didn't like about the film was it felt like it was directed by somebody that didn't know or care about Shigeki no Kyojin it's a director who's good at doing gore and that's it because when you saw the titans the titans were fucking terrifying like he did a marvellous job of relaying the terror of why you don't want to get caught by a titan. Because if you get caught by a titan. They will fuck your shit up. They will fuck you up. Like the way they will eat you. And slaughter you. And mutilate you. And just hollow you out. You just don't want to get caught by a titan. You know what I mean? There was a guy in the film that shot himself in the face with a flare gun. Rather than get caught by a titan. And I was like blatant. Yeah. I'm with you there. I'm with you. I'd shoot myself in the face rather than get caught with Titan. Because what they do is disgusting to human beings. It's disgusting. And that was good. I was happy about that. But it felt like it was a film that was made with bullet points. It really did. Like the director had bullet points of what you get in the Kyojin is supposed to be. What story plot points should be in the film. Okay, a fight scene with um, Jean, check. Mikasa and Erin, check. Armin, best friend, childhood best friend, check. That he has to protect because he's not strong. So Erin has to be strong for him, check. The um, scouting division, check. The military br police brigade, who look like fucking Nazis, made no fucking sense. Their outfit looked like you not. What the fuck is that anyway? Like. They're Nazis? Like, you shitting me right now? Like, Hans? You remember Hans, the military captain of the division that, make, that protects the wall, that maintains the wall, but they they become weak, they don't do anything but drink, smoke, laugh, and get loose. Like, they're just free. And Eren hates them for that. Remember Hans? He's not in it. The father-like figure. He's not in it. They replaced him with a guy called Sudara. Levi's not in it. They fucked up there. Mikasa, they f completely did the character assassination on her. So she was shit. Like, I, I didn't even like her. Like, I, I love that character in the anime. But in the movie, she was shit. I was indifferent to this character. I cared whether or not she was or wasn't in the film. When I first saw her, I was like, that doesn't even look like a Mikasa to me. That's not who someone I would say is Mikasa Akama. She's too skinny. Whatever. She used to feel like a Mikasa. Alright. She goes for a while. Didn't miss her. When she come back, didn't care. That's a problem. When you take a character that I really love from the anime. And then you put her in live action. And I don't like her. That's a problem. That's a massive problem. When you can actually make a character so bad. Get the interpretation for her character so off key. That I don't like her anymore. And then you don't put Levi in the movie. Like, wh what is going on with these people? Like, who makes the business decisions? For the That's why I say it's made by a person that doesn't know about Shigeki no Kyojin. It's bullet points. When he was directing the movie, maybe he had, like, some advice from the actual writer that makes Shigeki no Kyojin. But how he directed the movie, produced it and edited it was based off bullet points of what's supposed to be in the film. And even then, the changes he made, I don't care about changes. Changes is fine with me. But when you change it and you make it shit, you ruin the actual work through shitty decisions. That's where I've got a problem. And that's what they did in... Tandem. It was just... I mean, the music. Where was the godlike music? This is supposed to be Shigeki no Kyojin. Where's the godlike music? There was none. 
score was shit. There was like three or four scenes where they had decent music. And that was it. The air maneuver gear scenes were shit. They were CG was bad. It was terrible. But the one thing I think is very important to say. If you watch a clip about Shigeki the Kyojin that doesn't properly represent what the movie is because clips make the film look shit when it's not shit yeah it's just that it's when you watch a clip it's easy to take a clip out of context you need to watch the film as a whole in order to understand certain scenes like scene b will not make sense unless you've watched scene a scene b won't make sense unless you've watched scene b and scene c even there's a bit where i could say Scene H won't make sense unless you've watched scene A, B, C and D and I. It won't make sense. You understand? So you have to watch things in the full context in order for certain scenes to make sense. For certain things that seem stupid in the clip or in the trailer don't seem stupid at all. The reason I have a problem with it is because I'm saying the story, they fucked it up. They really fucked up the story. Like there was no Levi, there was no Annie Leon Hart. There was no Brian Luna, um, Brona, Bruna, can't remember his name. I mean, I was assume the guy that threw the Titan had the axe, who was just cutting everybody, all the Titans, Achilles heel, to like do damage to them. That was supposed to be Brian, Lu Brian Runa, but <sighs> you change his character so much that you can't identify with anybody in the movie because they've all changed so much. Their characterizations, not only their names, I said, I understand it. When have you ever watched an anime and said, this anime character looks like a Japanese character, looks like a Japanese person? Never. So the fact that these are <coughs> Japanese people doesn't make, it doesn't mean anything. It's fine to me. Like, that doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. The names, where they've changed the names, that's a problem. I mean, I understand the way that you don't want to see, they don't want to have, like, a, a Japanese character with the name Boris or Hans. Yeah, but then you have certain cats like Erin is still Erin, Jean is still Jean, Mix is still Mikasa, Armin is still Armin. You know what I mean? So you have one rule for, I mean, I understand that you want to put certain key characters with the names that you can't fuck with so that people can identify. But then if the people have to identify with that, then okay, so we can make a disconnect between that character and that character. What? Like, I mean, I'm to a certain degree, I'm glad that Captain Levi wasn't in it. Because if Levi is supposed to be that Shikishima guy, Shikishima, I would have been fucking pissed because that Shikishima's a prick. Like, fuck that guy, right? And the way Eren was pussy whipped over Mikasa made no sense to me. I mean, okay, my opinion regarding that, don't listen to me because I'm not into romance. So I'm, I'm not with it. So, but still, to have Eren like that, character assassination. Other than that, Eren was pretty accurate. Fight scenes. You had one fight scene for Eren, one fight scene for when he was in Titan Transformation. Both fight scenes were pretty, were really good. But other than that, Eren spent most of the film running. 97% of the film running. The other 3% was to, at the end of the film where he decided to fight. And the bit where he did fight with the air maneuver gear was amazing. It was good. The visual was shit. But what he was trying to do was good the idea behind what he was doing was what made it amazing not actually what it did because the air maneuver gear scenes were shit they were rubbish they weren't actually good the titans i would they did look good but i'm just saying the cg was bad and the way they had to change the filter in order to make the titans fit with the background and the colour of the whole scenes. And the world, it felt like an enclosed world. And I get it, they tried to do that because it's a... You're, you're trapped in the walls. So they want to give the people that are watching the feeling that the people that are in the world are feeling trapped. But the manga didn't give me that feeling. The anime didn't give me that feeling. So why should the movie give me that feeling? Why do you change things for the worse? You change things for the better. If you're going to make us enclosed, then focus on the characters. They don't focus on the characters. Did a better job relaying the feeling of the titans than you did the human beings. And that's why I say his characterization of the titans was better than his humans' um, characterizations. Because the actor was overacted. And you can overact and still make something good. 
Look at Crow Zero. Look at Gantz. Look at Versus. Battle Royale. Overacted, but the acting was still good overacted. Shigeki and Pyojin, all overacted, but not even good overacted. Certain scenes were interesting, certain scenes were good, like when Eren came out of that little, the hideout that he was in, that when he got separated from Mikasa, and he first came out, he saw like, the, what the destruction that the Titans had relayed across the whole area. That was good because you saw real sunlight. He was re you see like he was really sweating, like he was really devastated. That was good. But then from that, they never matched that. The first nine to ten minutes did not match the rest of the film, and that was a problem. And as I said before, they done fucked up when you say the character like Mikasa, Hakaman, and you make me not like her. Your job is to make me like the character I've already liked. If you're gonna change it, change it, but don't fuck them up. And that's what they did. Shitty change of story, shitty characterization, run no music. I was gonna say shitty music, but there was no music. Certain scenes were just silent. It made no sense to me. The only thing that was good was the two fight scenes that were in it. <laughs> that was it. If it wasn't called Shigeki the Kyojin, it would have been a decent film. But it's called Shigeki the Kyojin. So you're gonna have to hold this shit and say it was a I would give that film a two out of ten in terms of adaptation. From anime to live action. But if you're talking about. From. Perspective of a movie. Because that's how I'm going to judge this film. I'll give it. If I can't give it a 6.5. I'll give it a 7. And I only give it a 7. Because. 5 is calling it. To me it's calling it. Shit. 6 is saying it's just above shit. So I'm going to say 7. Because it's not complete shit. I want to hear what you guys got to say. How did you feel about the Shigeki no Kyojin? About the name changes? About the characters not, not looking nothing like they did in the anime? The lack of music? The, the story being changed for the worse and not making any sense? The titans? The murder? The slaughter? What did you think about it? What did you think about the division? What did you think about the way the... Police military, the military police um, squad looked like Nazis. I want to hear what you guys got to say about it. Comment sections below. Keep tuned. Until my next video, stay blessed.